Hi, Bud Jeffries. Now pay attention. Websites are StrongerMan.com, SuperhumanTraining.com. You want to learn about fat loss, strength, health, everything there is to know about conditioning in the real world, go to those sites. Now, pay attention to this. We talked to you in the last tip about making one change at a time. Here's the first change that I tell everybody in the world to make when they're talking about getting their lives straight as far as fitness, diet, fat loss, that kind of thing. Pay attention to the calories that you drink. Okay? Some of my friends, okay, my buddy Dave Whitley, the Iron Tamer, he has a great website. One of his truisms is you can't outsnatch a donut. You can't outwork a donut. You can't outrun, outwork your food. Okay? If you eat bad food, if you eat stuff, uh, you can't you literally can't out exercise it. And we'll talk more about that in the tips as to go. But the first thing to get your hand on is how many calories you drink. Most people have absolutely no idea how many, how much pure and most of it crap calories and energy that they take in when, when they drink stuff, all right? You have two cups of coffees in the morning, cups of coffee with a little bit of sugar in it each time, you know what? That adds a couple hundred calories. You drink fruit juice, fruit juice is loaded. Most fruit juice you buy out of the store is crap. It has high fructose corn syrup in it. It's loaded with calories. Gatorade loaded with calories. Soda, the world's worst thing probably that you can drink, especially if you don't drink a natural one, if you drink a, a name brand regular product, loaded with high fructose corn syrup, way, way loaded with calories. The average person probably can't burn more than 500 calories in a workout, and especially coming straight off the couch. You just don't have the physical ability to uh, tense up and work that hard. All right, Most people just don't have it. You know how easy it is to drink 500 calories of soda? Most people are knocking that out. A couple of sodas, no problem. Get a handle on that. Change that one thing first. That's the simplest, easiest thing to change. Okay, If you're a big soda drinker, you're a big calorie drinker in the things that you drink, okay? Get a handle on that and change it. In this, there's one of two ways you can change it. Number one, cold turkey it. Some people that works for them because if they drink a soda, they're going to drink five. Okay? Or a lot of people do better at tapering off. If you're drinking a six-pack of soda or anything else like that a day, cut it down. Work it out over a week or two. Get that under control. For most people, that's probably the biggest thing ruining their health to begin with. Then we'll talk about other stuff.